Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this square A, B, C, D. And it overlaps this isosceles uh, triangle because uh, this triangle G, C, E is has two angles that are congruent as you can see given. And uh, one side of this uh, isosceles triangle uh, G, E passes through the center of this uh, or the midpoint of the segment AB of the square. And uh, we are required to find the area of this uh, blue region. Okay, so our strategy would be since this is a square, so and the other two areas are this uh, white region AFE and DCE. So we just need to subtract this uh, two. Uh, areas to find subtract it from the square to find the area of the blue of this blue region okay so let us label the side of the square as s so this is s and this is s and we label this uh, side ae as uh, x okay so next is we focus on these two triangles afe and this uh, gfb so as you can see, they have the angle at F, which are vertical angles, and therefore, these two angles are congruent, and two angles also, this angle at A and that B, are right angles, so they are also, they are both right angles, and therefore, they are congruent, and if, and as you can notice, included in the two angles, for the two is a three unit length AF for the triangle on the uh, left, lower left, and the upper right is FB, which is also three units. So by uh, uh, by ASA congruence uh, angle side angle, these two triangles are actually congruent. Okay, so if the two triangles are congruent, then this side gb is also x corresponding to af i mean ae ae okay so next is we get the hypotenuse of the two i mean the hypotenuse of the triangles that are congruent the gf uh, b and afe so g f b and the a f e hypotenuse uh, it is equal to, let's call this uh, uh, small letter B. Okay, and this is B also. So B is equal to the square root of the two legs. So the legs is equal to 3 square. I mean the two legs, the sum of the squares plus x square. So that is the B. Okay, so but we will write it of course as B is equal to x square plus 9. Okay, so next is we draw this uh, segment G. I mean from point G we draw a horizontal line. And from uh, A we draw a line upward until it reaches this point so let's call this as h and this should be perpendicular and uh, this length hg is also s and this length ah is also uh, x okay so next is we compare these two triangles so the two triangles are hge so i have isolated these two triangles hge and this triangle AFE. Okay, and uh, we use the opposite over adjacent with respect to this angle. So let's call this uh, alpha. Okay, at alpha. Okay, so for HGE, the opposite is uh, S over the adjacent which is a uh, 2x it is equal to 
this triangle at AFE. So the opposite is three units, while the adjacent is X. And we can cancel this X, the denominator. And uh, we can say that S is equal to 2 times 3. And S is equal to 6 units. Okay, so next is we have isolated this triangle uh, GCE. So the two sides are equal. So for this isosceles triangle G -E and GC. Okay, since it's isosceles. Okay, so uh, the first side is 2B. And it is equal to the side GC which is a uh, X plus S. And B is equal to we just replace this with the x square plus 9 equal to x plus the value of sc6. So we just square this. So square both sides. And therefore we have a 4 times uh, x square plus 9 is equal to we square this binomial x plus 6 so x squared plus 12 x plus 36 so this becomes a uh, 4x squared plus 36 is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 36 we can cancel this I mean eliminate this 36 and 36 so 4x squared we need to put this to the left, this x square on the right. So this becomes a 4x square minus x square. And put this also, this 12x, so minus 12x equal to 0. So this becomes 3x square minus 12x equal to 0. And we uh, multiply it by one third. So we have uh, x square minus 4x is equal to 0. Okay, so next is we just solve this resulting quadratic equation. So this is an easy quadratic equation to solve. So we just factor out the x. So x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So 1 is 1 is uh, x is equal to 0. And the other is x minus 4 is equal to 0. And this will be x is equal to 4. And since the first solution is 0, say, and there is no 0 distance, so this is invalid. And therefore, this uh, x value, which is 4, gives us the uh, right answer. So this is the valid one, 4 units. Okay, so next is we. I'm now ready to find the area of this uh, shaded part. In. So I have isolated a square and we are interested in the area of FBCE. And we need to deduct these two areas, this triangle and this right triangle. And uh, this X becomes a uh, 4. So that is, we can delete this and replace it with a 4. And uh, S is actually uh, six six units. So this is six. So actually, uh, this six is actually we need uh, we don't need actually to solve because it is three plus three, so six. So this is six also. Uh, we have just used a ratio in proportion earlier. So, but uh, now next is we need to find this ED. So, 6, this ED is uh, 6, the whole length is 6, and subtract 4. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, so for the area of the area of A, F, B, E, C, F, B, C, E, is equal to the area of the square so area of a b c d minus the area of uh, a f 
AFE. So AFE. And minus this area of CDE. Okay, so area of uh, FBCE is equal to area of ABCD, which is a 6 times 6 minus 1 half times uh, 4 AFE, 3 times 4. And for CDE, this will be 1 half times uh, 2 times 6. So we can cancel this 4 and 2. So this becomes 2 and this becomes 2. So, area of FBCE is equal to 36 minus this 2 times 3, 6 minus this 6. So, area of FBCE gives us to be uh, 24 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.